Hello you guys and welcome to another YouTube video with me. I went on a little Sephora hunt and I have gotten a lot of stuff right in this bag. I kind of picked products that I never used before and I wanted to use it in front of the camera and see how it actually looks. I got a lot of them on my face right now and I have some on my hair right now. So if you want to find out what's in this bag that I got, keep on watching and let's get to this makeup look together. Here we go. Let's start. Now, I've already put my primer and my moisturizer and I've put my eye cream already around my eye. These are also bought from like Macy's or Sephora, anywhere you can find them. I have also put my concealer. I use Too Faced right here. Again, bought this one's bought from Macy's, but Sephora also carries this. So I already put it around my eye. So everything's set up and I also did my eyebrows just a little bit so they look kind of even. I am ready to put my foundation. Here we go from Sephora bag, this thing right here. So first thing I wanna show you guys is this Dior foundation that I got. Anything that I've bought from uh, Dior, literally I have been so freaking satisfied with and I am using currently Giorgi Armani foundation, but it took a couple of pumps to literally like clear everything out. So right now I have a lot of pimples and I wanna try and see if this Dior foundation would, literally ASMR, would work on my skin. So here's how it looks when you take it off. There it is, right on my hand. Again, if anything I'm doing is a crime in the makeup industry, I'm sorry. So I just turned off my light in the back so you guys can actually see how it covered everything up. But I'm also gonna turn it on and you guys can tell the difference. So this is with the light on. Um, it covered up pretty well. I'm actually really happy with it. I'm gonna add a little bit of an eyeshadow, but I want this look to look very minimalistic, but at the same time, like super clean. I did not buy any palettes, even though I looked at to see if Naked had any new palette so i'm just using modern renaissance by anastasia right here i didn't buy this um i just i just had it i have just a lot of palettes and i didn't really want to buy it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use um these three shades probably this three and then probably this lower one um this is the whole palette itself it's pretty cool i'm using this one now you can mix and match a lot and see like what happens you know like you can always mix things around and i love that about eyeshadows so that's that okay drum roll please because this is the best thing i think i've ever gotten okay so here it is this is makeup by mario a shaping stick is what they call it soft sculpting shaping stick so if you guys don't know, Makeup by Mario. Mario, Ma Mario is the makeup artist for Kim Kardashian, I believe. So he has this like um, contouring stick, I want to call it. And the reason I got this one, because of the box, the reason I got this one is because it actually comes with a brush in the back. And if you have seen my makeup videos, like uh, my brush game is not that good. So I really love this brush. It's super soft. It has like five dots on it for some reason. It's super soft, pretty cool. Look at that. Oh my God. Ah! Now this is in light. So there was medium light, there was medium. There was just so many more that was like so much darker. But let me actually show you guys how it looks inside. This is how dark it is i haven't done this contour thing before so bear with me but i'm super excited to use the brush so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go like right there and then right here a little bit and then here Ooh. okay and then right there now i'm gonna take the brush that it actually comes with it and we're gonna blend it in and i'm so excited to see how it's gonna look okay here we go so i'm gonna blend this in and then she said you blend it and you go in a little bit so as you blend you want to like kind of like take it up so it blends with the cheek and then we had the chin probably towards either down or up i don't know i don't know 
what do you guys think? It's hard to see the process through the camera, but you know, not bad. Let me turn off the light and you guys can see it this way as well. See if this looks better. Not bad, not bad. I have also gotten double take Tarte um, eyeliner uh, from this one from Macy's. So um, Sephora has it too, but I don't want to do eyeliner today. I'm only going to do a little bit of my under eye. The fun thing about this stick is that it has the liquid on one side and then it has the stick on the other. So it's like all two in one. So I really enjoy this one, but I, I don't know. I've been a little bit iffy about eyeliner just because it looks, it makes me look weird. So I'm just going to put this under here a little bit. I'm just going to use this one. I got, I didn't get this from Sephora, but just so you guys know that I'm going to add some mascara uh, on my face. We're going to right here. This little thing costed about 26 bucks, I think. Probably, but um, this is milk brand. This is my first time trying it and basically what this is It's a stick and it is for both lips and for a blush for your cheeks So I want to try it. I might literally go back to what I usually do on my Face, uh, but I'm like, let's just give it a try. I got this color. This is flip the color flip and um, the reason I got this dark is so I can both use it on my cheeks and on my uh, lips. So we're actually going to try and see if this actually does anything. So basically it opens up from right here. I thought it was like the other way. Oh, and you guys, it has like a little protector. It's so funny. And you just kind of open it right there like that. Let's go ahead and put a little bit right here. I've been wanting to use the sticks for um, blush. I don't know why. But then my other question was, when you put this on your cheek, then this happens. So then do I want to have foundation and lipstick on my mouth? That's, that's my only question. That's why I got this and I'm like, you know what? Let's give it a try and see how it's actually gonna look. Not bad. Again, I like my right eye and I like my left cheek. So, um, that's a, another dilemma I've been dealing with myself. It's super minimalistic. I don't know if you can see it if I'm all the way back here. It's super minimalistic and it's actually like blended in super well. So, I don't know. Now, I want to put it on my lips, but I'm probably going to like wipe it down first. Um, just because, again, I don't really want concealer on my lip. There it goes. That's like half of the product. Okay. Does it bring the look together? Probably. I don't know. But, yeah. This is the one I got. Pretty cool. You better try it and let me know what you think. There were so many other colors, like more pinkish, more lighter. Um, this was the darkest that I got. And again, I told you why I got the dark, so it can actually look pretty on the cheek. Um, but yeah, not bad. Before I continue from my last two items from Sephora, this is another thing I've gotten like a long time ago. And it's by Whale. And it is basically a translucent setting powder. And this is how it looks inside. The only thing is that like you gotta close it, tap it in the back and make sure the product actually falls in and then use it. But sometimes that's a, also a little bit of a disaster. Again, this brush is my life. So don't judge, just watch. Okay guys, so I just put a lip liner by MAC. Uh, right here pretty cool. They're awesome. Let me tell you it's called boldly bare is the Color if you can see I put it on my lips. My next item is a lipstick from Sephora. So This is by fashion fair Look at it fashion fair fashion fair. Woo, 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 woo. So um, it was pretty affordable I just want a lipstick that makes me look good and it's minimalistic and um, I can use it like kind of like every day. So this is the one. This is how it looks and under it. It also does say the name lace. So look at that. I like this texture because when I checked other lipsticks, they were a little bit dry, but this one had a little bit of a sparkle. Of course, I'm going to use sparkle. I'm going to choose the sparkly one. 
You guys, it's so soft and it's so creamy. I don't know how to explain. This is what got me because I was checking so many other lipsticks and they were just so dry. My lips are naturally dry. I usually do put uh, my chapstick before um, I do any makeup, but still, like, I want um, lipstick that has at least a little bit of texture and a little bit more, I don't want to say oil, but moisturizing. So, this is pretty good. This is a little bit darker than I've expected, but I'm not mad about it. I'll give you that. Let's see it in the other mirror. <laughs> no. No, I love it. Okay, guys, when you actually add the hair, it really just adds on to that makeup look. But I'm super satisfied with it. However, I have one more product that I got from Sephora, and it is the Bay. So this is actually a styling cream. A lot of the dancers that I follow who are influencers as well, they have been using this a lot. So I was like, I need to give it a try. Also, I think the way they use it too is that when they go to competitions or when they want to like have that slicked back hair look, they use that and they just kind of put it. They said it's better than the hairspray, so... I don't know. I'm gonna actually put it on and try it on. So I want these curls to stay here, but I also just kind of want it to like not be so freezy like it is right now. It smells like cherries. Okay. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't know. And then I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. Again, trying new products is the scariest because. I always don't know how my skin and my hair and everything is gonna react. You guys, look at that. Look at that perfect curl. This is the final look with everything that I have gotten from Sephora. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I've used a lot of products that I've already had before as well. And I mentioned all their names. I'll try to link them down below as well. So if you guys have any questions and if you wanna order from Sephora, Go ahead and do that. Now, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button and give a big thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Comment down below if you've actually used any of these products and how it has worked out for you. So, with that said, see you in the next video.